Righto, we've all done it. We've all been there. We all bought Chinese light bars about 10 years ago when the high quality ones were too expensive to buy because they were like $3,000 and just completely out of most of our price ranges. And I just couldn't justify it back then. I was like, that's just ridiculous. They were so high priced for a good size light bar to fit on your four wheel drive. That's bloody high tide. Pilligan National Park. That damn food it needs to be. So back when I did have my Ranger, like I did buy those lights. I was always worried about them getting stolen and stuff off my four wheel drive when I was parked in shopping centers and, and wherever. And it was something I was always worried about. It's like, if I go and spend $2,000 on a light bar and then it's I come out of the shops and it's bloody gone, I'm gonna be devastated. So I bought Chinese light bars for that reason, the cheap ones. You'd get probably a year out of them, two if max. After about a year, they'd be faded. The powder coating would be falling off. You'd have LEDs dropping out. You'd have water ingress and all the rest of it. So it wasn't only till like recently, like when I had the F250, I actually started buying high quality light bars. And yeah, I did buy a good brand for the F250 when I first got it. I was buying good quality stuff. Um, and it does make a big difference when you buy a high quality light or high quality anything you get what you pay for in most circumstances. So a little bit of a rundown in saying that. Uh, a couple of years ago, laser lamp, I'd never heard of laser lamp before and you guys probably haven't either. So you're probably still sitting on the fence in regards to these lights because I had not heard anything about this company prior to them recently coming to Australia a couple of years ago. So they're pushing their way into the four wheel drive market here now in Australia. I'm an ambassador for them. I said I wouldn't be an ambassador until I had the lights for a good amount of time. I could test them and know that they're good quality gear before I ever pitch any sort of product and say that it's actually good. So, and I can now vouch for this company and how good these lights are. I've been running them for about two years on my um, earth moving equipment, my F250, my Polaris's farm equipment. I have them on a lot of pieces of equipment that I have and vehicles. So to give you a little bit of a rundown on laser lamp and where they're from, they are UK based, so they're made in the UK, engineered in the UK. Those guys have been into motorsports for a long time. So things like rally and stuff like that, they make some sick rally pods and things out of carbon fiber that house their lights, their custom made lights for rally and stuff like that. So, and over the years they've been getting more into the everyday consumer market um, of lighting. So. These lights are wicked. So on the F250, I've been running the Triple R on the roof, and then I was running, I think it was a T24 in the bull bar, but they've just sent me their brand new round version. I asked this question probably about oh, six months ago to about eight months ago, if they were ever gonna build a round version, and they weren't sure, but they have. I have the first ones in the country right now on my truck. So they're not available for sale yet, but they will be um, coming to the website very shortly. If not, by the time this video is put up, they will be available. So we're gonna go through and look at their brand new Sentinel round version um, of their really good lights. These are the new Sentinel lights. I'm running the Elite. They have a standard and an Elite version. The Elite is 145 watts and it's 15,232 lumens. So they weigh 2,500 grams each, each light does. They will draw, uh, the Elites will draw 14.7 amps each light. So I have the uh, Sentinel 
performance elite and the standard versions here so as you can see the um, the pattern that's for the standard so you can pause the screen if you like and here we have the elite which is what I'm running on the f250 so I'm still learning about these lights right now as we speak I have not even had them on the vehicle for less than half an hour I've just mounted them up and wired them up so I'm even looking at all the specs and stuff at the same time um, just waiting for it to get dark here so we can do some tests and see how they compare to the T24 I had on the truck but aren't they just the sickest light you have ever seen you know, like a carbon fiber centerpiece in there with this ridge bar across the front Sentinel written down there at the bottom. You can see the LEDs reflecting back. I'm waiting for it to get dark so I can do some, some tests with these lights because I'm pretty excited to see how they go. But this isn't so much of a review, but just showing you these lights firsthand, incredibly, just the clarity of the glass. And most of the lights that I've used on the mark get just this kind of haziness to them inside the light bar itself, whether it's from dust or just the elements that it's in every day, the sun, the heat, everything. So, but these have stayed really clear. Um, the one that gets punished the most is probably the one that's on my Polaris. It gets physically abused. It gets, I push gates open with it on the farm. I run down trees with it. I push brush over with it. It gets a good flog and I'm always <laughs> straightening it again because I smack stuff with it. And that's my test light. I'd flog the hell out of that light to see what sort of abuse it's gonna take. So the width of the light across is 225 millimeters, and then the depth of the light, so the thickness towards the back of the light through this section here, that is 90 millimeters. And then the light, including this absolutely beast of a bracket, so the height from the bottom to the top is 229.5 millimeters. So I have the wide mount kit, which is the, the bar through here. You can get a slimline kit, and that's what I love about these lights too, is they're really, really customizable to what you're doing with your four-wheel drive. If you've got to sneak a light into a specific section, you need to make it smaller, or the bracket's too wide, you can actually buy different brackets for all their lights to, to make it fit where you want. And they're really adjustable, especially their light bars with the track system on the top and bottom. So it's, it's heaps easy to customize to get these lights to fit wherever you want. There's a good amount of warmth coming off those things. So I just gotta wait a little bit longer till it gets dark. Alright, the sun's all but gone, so that's my standard high beam. That's my low beam, because they're LED. Uh, in those uh, VIP Moto's headlights is what I've got from America. Um, but yeah, high beam is absolutely woeful and pathetic. I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. I'd be better off just to drive around in low beam, but yeah, I haven't upgraded the, the light, the head, high beam lights. So, yeah, let's uh, see how we go with these new Sentinel lights. I'm pretty keen to see what happens here. So, go ahead and flick on the switch. So this will light up two lights, and then the outside, the center one, will come on when I actually hit the high beam, so. Wow, that's awesome. Now we'll go to center one as well. So now that's my center one as well, so that's all three. And that's not even including my roof light bar. So hopefully I'm using the GoPro, got it on 4K, so hopefully it's giving you some good, good video there on the quality of these lights. <laughs> They are next level. Going on to a 
longer straight here, so it'll shoot further down the road. But you can see those, you can see those street signs all the way down the end down there. Like that's probably, um, that's probably about a k, I reckon. Probably just under. But it's pretty dusty. So now we go ahead and we'll hit the roof light bar as well. So now we've got the roof light bar on as well. <laughs> light game over. Sentinels, best round lights on the market, hands down. I've had them all. I've had nearly all the round high quality brands on uh, different vehicles and stuff for work and but these things are next level. I'll turn that light, the light bar off again. So you can see, when I was talking about before, the light bar on the bonnet, a lot of guys were saying, hey, do you get a lot of reflection having the light bar on the roof? And I'm like, no. So there you can see, I have the light bar on, on the roof, and there's no bounce back off that light bar off that Triple R series. So they're really good as the way that the lenses are designed to throw the light out. So, but that is friggin' awesome. I'm stoked with these lights. So, light bar back off on top now. But <laughs> and I was standing in front of the lights earlier, and like it hurt my eyes. Like, it's like getting welder's flash. You see that wallaby just there? That's pretty impressive. So I've just got the dust there. You can actually see the, the LEDs and the way they shoot out off the lights. Pretty cool. Bit scary. guys on the front of the bonnet and uh, we'll go for a drive up the up the mountain and um, yeah see how they go.